Alright, what's up guys, it's CIA Chris here, and today's video consists of my predictions from the Seattle Surge Home Series. This is the last weekend of games to take place before the Stage 5 Major. Since the last predictions video I recorded, some roster changes have occurred. Blaster will be sitting this weekend for NYSL, and Diamond Con will be starting in his place. The predictions I give in this video will be based on these most current updates. Alright, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. And for the first matchup here, we have the New York Subliners versus the Paris Legion. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of NYSL. The Subliners may have been struggling this stage, but I feel they display more talent. Benching Clay for this weekend could actually benefit them in my opinion given their recent issues. I think that they simply have a better group or combination of players, and for that reason they will prevail. Paris should be good enough to take at least one map, however, as they did beat LAT last week. And for the next matchup here, we have Optic Chicago versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Optic Chicago. Optic has looked phenomenal recently. They've remained undefeated so far throughout this stage and only have dropped maps to phase during it. London in contrast has been struggling a lot recently. Their only win of this stage was a map 5 victory over a struggling NYSL team. I do not expect this series to be that close to be honest. I think Optic simply displays more talent when they really find their rhythm and I think they have now found it. I expect them to dominate in this series and for it not to be that close of one to be honest. And for the next matchup here we have the Toronto Ultra versus the Florida Mutineers. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. The Ultra have been a big force in the league since stage 2. They are undefeated so far this stage and currently sit at second in the standings. Florida has been on the come up in my opinion recently though as they have been performing well throughout this stage. They have also remained or gone undefeated so far this stage and beat Empire in the process of doing so. Because of this I expect a close series to take place between these two teams. I expect some highly competitive maps to go down and for it overall to be a very close one. It should be a nail biter for sure but I think Toronto will just barely be able to edge it out. They have been one of the best teams all season long and I think that this will benefit them here. Because of the consistency they have displayed all year I expect them to prevail. And for the next match matchup here we have the Dallas Empire versus the Seattle Surge. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Dallas has been one of the best teams in the game all season long. They were in the finals of the last major and currently sit at third in the standings. Seattle in contrast has struggled all season long really. They currently sit at last or 12th in the standings and have not won a series yet this stage. I do not expect this series to be that close to be honest. I expect Dallas to dominate and for it to be an easy 3-0 for them. And for the next matchup here we have the Paris Legion versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Paris Legion. This is a hard match up for me to call to be honest. Both of these teams have had some really rough seasons. Paris currently sits in 9th in the standings and London sits in 11. However, both of these teams have won series this stage. London beat NYSL and Paris beat LAT. Since I think the Thieves are in a better position than NYSL right now, I think Paris may barely just edge it out. Kemp played for the Thieves earlier this season, so I think he may have been a big key to them losing to Paris. NYSL also just made a roster change and have not won a series yet this stage. The Thieves on the other end have won a series this stage. And for the next matchup here, we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the Florida Mutineers. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 to one in favor of the Florida Mutineers. Florida has been playing really well this stage. The Rocker have been okay this stage, but already lost to a team during it that Florida beat. The Mutineers beat Empire 3-1 to one during this stage, while Rocker lost to them 3-1. to one. I'm not too sure how to call this series, to be honest, as the Rocker are good. These teams are also neck and neck in the standings right now, with Rocker sitting in 6 and the Mutineers in 7. I just expect the Mutineers to prevail, as they have been on fire recently. And for the next matchup here, we have Optic Chicago versus the Los Angeles Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 to two in favor of Optic Chicago. Optic has been playing phenomenal recently. As stated before, they beat phase last week and have been undefeated this stage thus far. The Thieves have looked good as of late but did slip up versus Paris last week. They also lost the phase this stage which is stated before as a team that Optic beat. I do think this will be a close series though as LAT I feel has a phenomenal roster. I think their matchup versus the Legion was definitely a fluke and they will look to bounce back from that here. Also because of the nade shot Optic rivalry I expect this series to be highly competitive. I think Optic will just barely be able to edge it out though as they have been lights out recently. I do think the Thieves will definitely give them a run for their money though. And for the next matchup here we have the 
Los Angeles Gorillas versus the Seattle Surge. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Seattle Surge. I think this is a hard series for me to call, to be honest. Both of these teams have struggled massively this season and sit low in the standings. Neither team has won a series yet this stage either. However, because of how well Seattle played during the last major, I think that they should be able to prevail. With it being their home series as well, I think they will come out a bit more motivated. I expect it to be a close series though, as neither of these teams have been too hot this year. And for the next matchup here, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the New York Subliners. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe is the top team in the game. They have won three majors and are currently first in the standings. NYSL will be coming into this matchup with a relatively new roster still, and I do not expect FaZe to slip up given that. NYSL will also be missing their veteran leadership in clay, which I think could potentially cause them some issues. The maps may be close, but I expect FaZe to have no problem securing the W here. And for the last matchup of the weekend here, we have the Dallas Empire versus the Toronto Ultra. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. Both of these teams have had very good seasons and performed well. They also both sit very high up in the standings, with Dallas in third and the Ultra in second. Because of recent trends, however, I expect the Ultra to be able to prevail. The Ultra have gone undefeated this stage, but Empire lost during it to Florida 3-1. I do think they will definitely be able to secure a map, though, as they are still a really good team. When it's all said and done, though, I expect the Ultra to come out on top. And now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the Seattle Surge. In 11th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 10th, the London Royal Ravens. In 9th, the Paris Legion. In 8th, the New York Subliners. In 7th, the Los Angeles Thieves. In 6th, the Minnesota Rocker. In 5th, the Florida Mutineers. In 4th, Dallas Empire. In 3rd, Optic Chicago. In 2nd, Toronto Ultra. And in 1st, Atlanta Faze. Alright guys, but that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm super excited for this weekend of games and I can't wait to see how they all play out. Alright guys, but as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.